Let's convert the quadratic function f of x equals x squared plus 8x plus 20 from standard form into vertex form. To do so, I'm going to slightly rewrite the equation at the start. I wanted to create some more space because we want to use the first two terms, x squared plus 8x, and some other term that we're going to find out in a few seconds to create a perfect square. The best way to create this perfect square is to use the area model. Let's begin by filling in this area model with what we already have, which is the x squared and the 8x. There's the x squared, and we're going to divide the 8x perfectly in half to get 4x and 4x. Now we can start to fill out the factors. x and x plus 4 and plus 4. We want to complete this square. We want to find that last term that will go in to make this a perfect square. What is that? Well, that's 4 times 4, or 16, which means we can add 16 up here to turn these first two terms into a perfect square. Of course, if we're going to put positive 16 into our equation, we also need to balance it out with a minus 16 so that the net effect on the equation is 0. Now we have x squared plus 8x plus 16 plus 20 minus 16. When I put parentheses around these first three terms to help separate them, we see that they can be rewritten as x plus 4 squared plus 20 minus 16. We can simplify this further to x plus 4 squared plus 4, which is a quadratic function in vertex form.